Good morning and hope you all have been well and this is part 8 of the Pokemon Rejuvenation V 13.5 Let's Play set mode, no items, so yeah. So before we get into today's episode, there is one change that I want to talk about and get into with you guys at the beginning of the video. It is something that will benefit, I believe, all of us in the long run. So I do ask that if you do plan to continue watching, or if you do somewhat care about the series, that you please listen. I did make a community post as well going over the changes that I plan to uh, get into soon. So if you prefer to read that, that's totally fine. But I will go over everything here now. But again, I do ask that if you do care, please listen. If you don't care, that's totally fine. Just skip on ahead till I, I guess, walk into uh, the room over there. So, yeah. Oh, also, to recap the last episode before I forget, pretty much it was a help center request. I went over uh, each and every single one. So if there are new viewers that may be lost or confused with any of that, check out that video if you have not already. And then we also went into the Mancino uh, side quest as well. And I believe that's pretty much it for uh, recapping the last one. So with that out of the way, uh, let's get into the changes that I plan to get into. So to pretty much start it off, I got a really interesting comment uh, from a new viewer that was explaining that they were enjoying the uh, new Let's Play and they appreciated that, you know, there was somebody going through the game from the very start with V13.5, but they did bring up a point that since they are a new viewer, that they didn't really want to see spoilers and whatnot throughout uh, the series. Now, it is something that I said before that I really want to get in depth with uh, my theories and speculations and rants and whatnot about the game, but at the same time, it is something that I said before that I want this to be something that really helps and guides new players that are getting into the game. And of course, Spoilers, rants, theories, new players, guides, the two of them don't mix really well. I don't want to spoil major stuff with this series with new players, and I apologize for the last few episodes for doing that. Now, how to go about it in a better way? What I plan to do in the comment section below I haven't done every single episode yet, by the way. I'm still working on that. I'm hoping to get up to date with everything by the weekend. We'll see what happens because I'm a very busy person. But anyways, um, hopefully by the weekend, we'll have that all up to date. What I plan to implement and get into from now on is a pinned comment sectioning off uh, different things and giving timestamps to different things. I feel like I worded that weird. Let me try to describe it better. So within that pinned comment, there's going to be a section for timestamps whenever I get into a theory, uh, speculations, uh, a rant about the game and getting into spoiler like stuff. I plan to make a timestamp from the start of the rant to the finish of well, to the finish. Sorry, to the end of the rant. So let's say you're somebody that's kind of like skipping around the episodes, but wants to focus on my theories. You can click on that, start, and listen to it. And then when it's done, you don't have to listen anymore. Or if you are somebody that is new but don't want to get spoiled, it's something that I will bring up every episode like I did on the past one still. I will give a warning before I get into a spoiler. You can pause the video, go into the comment, click the end of the timestamp, that number there, and then that will skip you to when I stop the rant. Whenever I get into spoiler stuff and when it ends, I will not drag it any further. That is the end of the rant. And then from then on, it's main story stuff unless I get into something else. All of that will be available to you within the comment section below. So hopefully that kind of uh, makes sense. What I also plan to do, not only that, I plan to have timestamps for every time that we gain karma points throughout the game. I plan to create timestamps 
for events, whether it's important Pokemon that I want to leave a timestamp for. So if you want to get certain Pokemon, there's a timestamp on how I go about it. I will not do this for every Pokemon because there are a lot of event Pokemon, but the more interesting and important ones, those are the ones that I will most likely have a timestamp for. The next thing that I plan to do timestamps for is not only event Pokemon, but events for actual characters. A great example is down within there. There is going to be a event with um, a few certain people, stuff like that. Uh, the Aaron and Magnolia library thing, that will be something that I will create a timestamp for and have that under the event thing. And of course, I will have the timestamps labeled. For example, like Aaron Magnolia meetup, let's say time 3287 or 87, 3247, there we go. Whatever it is, that's what it's going to be. And it will be, of course, titled. Alright, sorry for the random pause there. I had to go take my dog out. But um, I'm trying to remember now. I, I think I'm about to get into the final one. And that is the Semo No Items Battles. Now, I do plan to create timestamps for gym battles, boss battles, um, important character battles. Whatever seems important to me. I will, oops, sorry for hitting the mic there. I will create a timestamp for that as well. I understand that there are probably going to be players that may just want to go through the series and let's say get info on karma points or how do I go about this battle and whatnot. The timestamps overall are to benefit, let's say, players that still plan to watch the entire episode or parts of it here and there, and also people that just want to go through, get the information, and get on out. Whatever it is, and however you are... Oops, sorry for hitting the mic again. However you want to go about this, that will all be available for you. Now, I know for the first few early episodes, I have somewhat of something uh, pinned within the comment section. I will make it much more revised and better for other episodes. I still need to uh, go through that and redo it so it looks much more better so yeah it's just something that will take some time and whenever I actually do it I will do it but moving forward I think this is the best way uh, to go about not only spoilers but for other things as well and hopefully uh, this will be something that interests all of you so yeah I think that's pretty much it I guess you can let me know what you think and I know overall, I can't really please or, you know, do everything that everybody wants me to. And I'm not trying to, uh, per se. It, it's more so something that I brought up multiple times that I really like your guys' feedback, ideas, suggestions, and all of that. And then I'll see if I'm able to uh, make that happen for you guys. And with that one comment, it kind of made me realize that maybe I should go about this differently with the spoiler stuff and new players, you know, because again, I, I don't want to like spoil stuff and then have this be something for uh, new players as well. So yeah, hopefully that works out for everybody. We'll see what happens. And I guess you can let me know how you feel about all of that. So yeah. So we're going to go on down here and start up the main story. It is something that I brought up earlier that there is a event down here it is a missable event by the way so please keep that in mind now if you have also uh, noticed we have a swoobat and a levani i did off screen level them up gave them uh, the right amount of friendship with a bunch of uh, haircuts and battling with them uh, got them fully evolved it is something that i brought up on one of the episodes when I captured the both of them that they are both extremely good Pokemon to have early game and honestly mid game as well they are not terrible at all so I would advise having them and plus they're fully level Pokemon early within the game so it's kind of like again why not take advantage of it why not have them they're very good Pokemon you might not see Levani or Swoobat being the greatest Pokemon ever but again, you're not playing competitive, 
you're playing rejuvenation you're playing a pokemon game so try not to treat it more so as like well competitively they they may be like the pu tier or zu uh tier i think that's a new one that showdown has now but um yeah try not to worry too much about that kind of stuff because again it's something that i cannot stress especially to new players that may be getting into the game that every pokemon is good in their own way and even for competitive people as well that may actually still play showdown competitively and whatnot i'm a firm believer that every pokemon is good in its own way no pokemon is bad okay maybe except for like a couple but for the most part you can make anything work hopefully that makes sense we were studying the Muna that suddenly gathered back here. They were circling this specific patch of grass until, well, this translucent tree sprouted from out of the ground. Go take a look for yourself. But I think overall you get the point on what I'm saying. Anyways, though. So, what do you propose, Miss Blakery? Well, I can't say I've seen anything like this before. So I don't know much of an answer, however, that's why I brought one of my star pupils. Lavender, I briefed you in on this subject before we got here. Any thoughts? Well, uh, psychic Pokemon tend to gather around points of massive bouts of energy. It's quite possible that the Muna here sensed the tree's emergence before it happened, and that is why it was circling the spot of its growth is because it... I, I feel like I read that all wrong, sorry. Let me redo that. And the reason why it was circling the spot of its growth is because it thought it may be able to feed off the energy. But considering the tree is still here, I don't think it's possible for them to... I see. So how do we... Pro how do you propose we get rid of it? That part may be out of my speciality, I'm afraid. Um, translucent energy trees are sort of abnormal, right? We can't physically move them, and attacking them is useless. I'm afraid there's nothing to be done until we learn more about its properties. Huh? With all due respect, what am I supposed to do with that? Hmm. Maybe I could try something. Please step aside. Alakazam, let's try out our new technique here. What did you do? Um, it's a new technique Alakazam and I have been working on. People in Pokemon leave traces of themselves behind in sort of a metamorphical space. Using Alakazam's high IQ and power, I was able to condense the tree into an artifact. But it's only a temporary fix, eventually it'll break. But the artifact is still here, we can't just leave this thing floating about either. Ouch. Sorry about that. I say it was a fine attempt. You did more than these adults could, that's an embarrassment on their part. Fair. Very, very fair. Hey, we shall take a sample and examine this back at Axe's High. Come now, Lavender. Yes, Headmistress Blakery. For a moment. These ghost trees are so strange, I'm kind of afraid of them. And I believe, um... That's a certain someone that we'll meet up with far down the road. Alrighty. Now, Muno. Fantastic Pokemon. It is a Pokemon that I used on Pokemon Rejuvenation and it was one of my uh, main team members. For Rejuvenation, I don't think I've honestly ever used a Musharna. Maybe like once, but I don't think I ever have. Now of course for no items run, I'm still going to capture it regardless. Just to of course have one. But um, yeah, overall very solid Pokemon, not bad at all. I love Musharna, definitely one of my favorite psychic type Pokemon. I don't know if I would say it's my favorite. I'd have to think on that. I don't even know what my favorite would even be, honestly. There's honestly a lot of really cool psychic Pokemon. What is there, like, Sigilyph is cool, Espeon's cool. 
I mean, Mushran is pretty cool. There's a number of them that I really do like. But um, just because of Reborn, we'll name you Shimmer. And that'll be it for that. And I guess with that, we'll get on out of here. And let's go ahead and meet up with Ren, Venom, Karina at the... Um, whatchamacallit. Not the sewers, but um, some weird factory. And then get that a going. Let's see here. I do believe we go up this way. And on over here. The abandoned factory. I haven't ever seen what was inside of this place. I read that all wrong. Sorry, but that's okay. Okay, you two, this is it. If the reports are true, then there should be a Zen admin cooped up in here. If we can get rid of them, it may be enough to drive out all of Team Zen's grunts from East Girin. The reports must be true that laughter can't be from a sane individual. Yeah, let's get this over with and done with. Now, I believe there is a little uh, hidden scene behind a certain somebody. I won't really, like, name them or get into that whole thing, but there are small little, like, stuff here and there that can be missable just to uh, let you guys know. Uh, that Zen admin must be around here somewhere. Yeah, that laugh sounded pretty close. Venom. Huh? What are you guys doing here? It wasn't wise for you to run off like that before giving me the chance to explain the situation. Listen, I'm... Intruder alert, intruder alert. I didn't think this place would have an alarm system. Jenkel, who are those three? You absolute idiot. You left the door open even after I told you to shut it. Oops. You're supposed to be more competent than this. Whatever, just take care of them. I'm warping on out of here. And then as you can see, she kind of like disappears. It is something for new players that uh, can be missable, but it is cool that rejuvenation adds these small little like things here and there. And of course, like I brought up earlier, I'm not really going to get get into like who she is and all of that as of now. Anyways, is that a Musharna? You there, Zen Admin, what are you doing to that Musharna? Zen Admin, well, doesn't matter, you've all seen too much, but that's okay. Yes, it's quite alright. I guess I'll just have to test my experiment out on you too. This guy's a dummy. Let's take him down. Alon, if you can pull this off, I'll let you into my gang. This is a good deal. Take out this guy and save that Musharna. We'll see about that. Um, honestly, I... I don't think it honestly like matters who like you go with honestly I, I feel like I said honestly like twice or three times sorry but um yeah it doesn't like affect um I guess like friendship points or relationship points however you want to word it and whatnot so yeah at, at least from my knowledge I don't think it does um honestly it don't really matter we'll, we'll go with Ren yeah, we got this. Alright, let's do this. Now, this battle can be a little bit tricky for some players, especially like new players that may be like new to the battle. Again, it is something that I'm going to say forever and ever and ever. Full levels, full team of six, solid team overall. It should not be that difficult of an experience for you. If it is, and you still have trouble with certain stuff, again, I am more than happy to help out and give my advice and whatnot to you if there are some battles that you may be struggling with. So, yeah. But to show the team real quick, we got ourselves a timid nature uh, swoop at here. Uh, here's the move set, and here are the IVs. Now, four, four, and two, and the other random stats was a mistake. I didn't mean for that to happen, but it really shouldn't affect much at all, honestly. 
Uh, next up is a Jolly Nature uh, Lee Vanny. That's right, Jolly. Here are the move sets, and here is the EV spread here. Next up is also a Jolly Nature uh, Combuscan, and here are the uh, move sets here. Next up, uh, Parcherisu, also Jolly Nature. Here's the uh, move set here. Trubbish is next. You are a... Why am I forgetting? Why am I forgetting? Not bold. Bold is like plus defense, minus attack. I... No, minus special attack, I think. Or is that Impish? I feel like I'm mixing the two up. Normally I know this on the top of my head. Why am I forgetting? Sassy is minus speed plus special defense. Why am I forgetting? Relax nature. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, but here's the move set here. I don't know why I did all that, but I was just kind of like curious if I can remember. Uh, but anyways, uh, as you saw there, Jolly, uh, 252, 252, attack and speed. And here's the move set. So, yeah. Alrighty then. I uh, will go for insurance here. Now again, also with Ren on your team, um, it shouldn't be... Uh, that tricky since you have um, him with you. Alright, Musharn is here. The one piece of advice I can give is focus the Musharna. That's probably the best thing uh, that you can do. Now do keep in mind that light screen is up, so right now I am at a, a disadvantage, but I'm not really going to worry about that as of now unless it uh, does take me out. So we're going to go on ahead and get rid of the uh, Muna there, just to get rid of it. I would more so try to put like your attention on the Musharna, because like as you saw there, um, with Charge Beam, it, it can like up the attack, so uh, do keep that in mind. And then that kind of gives me a free switch into uh, Parcherisu. Now, you can, for example, like immediately swap into a Pokemon, in this case, I'd rather like sack off um, the what you call it the Swoobat, so I can get a safe switch into another Pokemon. So don't forget that it is sometimes wise to do that. Sometimes like you just sh should immediately like swap into something else. That's totally fine, but sometimes it's better just to allow your opponent to take it out and have a fresh and fully heal Pokemon to get into the battle, instead of it taking some damage along the way. Hopefully that kind of makes sense, but um, yeah. But anyways, we shouldn't really lose here at all. I think he said Ruh oh she's gonna be mad, if I'm not mistaken. Musharna. That Musharna is angry with us. Why is it angry with us? I thought we saved it from being in pain. Well, of course not. My modifications to this machine caused to the two to sort of have a symbiotic relationship. This Musharna was never in any harm. It was really enjoying a nice massage. What? Oh, so you're actually helping Pokemon out, not harming them. Well, of course not, obviously. All of us mad scientists get profiled together and it's not cool, man. But I need someone to test out my glorious machine, so it's not all that bad. You guys are cool, though. Should come back sometime. I have chips and drinks. Um, no, I'm good. We're just gonna leave now. Let's go, guys. Well, that was a false alarm. What a waste of time. We could have been on our way to Sheridan to save Malia from Team Zen. Wait, what's going on? I'll explain it on the way to the train station. Come on. That should have bought an ample amount of time for... Um, anyway, I'm sorry this didn't turn out to be what I thought it was. Here, take this. It's the least that I can do. Good luck with saving Malia. I hope for the best outcome. Oh, and whenever this is all done, come back and visit me at my house. I have a mission for you that might tickle your fancy. Good luck again. 
sounds like a plan. And real quick, if we don't find Malia, I want to make sure. Tell us where she is. I just want to make sure before we head out that I. That I like uh, battled everybody there. I'm pretty sure we have. Seems to be the case for the most part. Now I do believe with the whole uh, house thing. For that whole quest we have to uh, continue like the main story for that in order uh, for that to happen. And it also seems that Amanda has moved on then. Gotcha. So I guess we'll meet up with these guys here, and then we will continue onwards. Uh, Ren just filled me in on everything that has happened. This sucks. Team Zen are a bunch of blanks who can't do anything right, so they band together to be, to be I don't know, stupid. The next train to Route 2 just got here. Malia might have gotten off on Route 2 some time ago now. Will we be able to make it on time? Oh, whoops. Wrong one. There we go. You guys alright? Cheer up, guys. Silent. I believe cheer up, guys, gives you 1.4 uh, Ren, if I'm not mistaken. The other one, I think, is neutral or might give minus points to Venom. I don't remember for certain. That's something you'll have to check out on the relationship guide. Yeah, there's no reason we should just sit here all depressed. This is an ordeal we're going to have to go through, but we can get through it. Easier said than done. I'm literally going to scream if this train doesn't go any faster. So, do we have a plan for whatever this is? What plan do we need? Find Malia, go home. Yeah, but... No, you're right. We should hunt down the people responsible for this and take them out. That's not what I meant. Are we even capable of doing such a thing? There have been tales of kid prodigies taking down crime syndicates, but that surely cannot be us. I don't care. I don't care. Just calm down. If you go too crazy, you'll do something stupid. Now arriving to Route 2. The train stop, that's enough talk. Venom, I know you are worried, but you need to slow down. For a moment. Venom, slow down. Alana's is going to get left behind. Amethyst Cave is just up ahead. They won't get lost. So it seems with V13.5, they actually redid this route. I'm honestly really liking the changes so far. Okay, so I believe um, this is how you get a, a Meganium, well, a Chikorita, sorry, but um, we won't be able to get one for a little while, though. So I know there are a few battles here that we'll get into. Abadu, Air Cutter. Air Cutter again. For a moment. Cool, cool. Let's see. Uh, cut here. We're not able to do that as of now. Uh, this is a, a side quest that I won't get into right now. But at some point we will come back to uh, do that. Since I do want to go over pretty much every side quest uh, that is available within the game. Okay, so we can't go behind him yet go for rock smash here since I do have uh, the one password for doing that uh, Diglett is honestly a fantastic Pokemon I don't think I've honestly ever used it up trio ever within the series but since this is a uh, no items run uh, I will capture that guy and might have a use for it in the future we'll see what happens though Oh, sorry for the speed up there. So I guess that guy, well, I mean, I know who that is, but I won't get into that right now. 
Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. Whoops. Well, the tree's pretty, though. Alright, so normally I would, like, go back to redo that. But apparently I found three at some point, so it seems I've made a few mistakes along the way as well. I won't really worry about it right now, but from now on I'll do my best to remember not to pick those up. Because, like, I do want to try to make, like, a... Uh, video at some point going over getting all of those, but We'll see if I actually go through with that or not uh, This is honestly a pretty cool little event right here. Uh, you can battle them and then uh, Throughout like uh, the game you'll meet up with them in different areas. So uh, we'll start it off here then uh, Stop your new trainer, right? Is that right? How would you like to be a part of a new program called trainer tracker? All we got to do is battle simple. Yeah, then how about it? Come on, it'll be fun. Will do. Uh, Jeff and Henry Edo, I believe that's how you say her name. Something like that. We'll go for um, Razor Leaf there. And then I think that's pretty much it. Whoa, I did not expect to do well, but I didn't expect to just flat out lose like that either. You gave us a lot of nice footage, kid. What's your name? Alon, man, you're going places, Alon. Jeez, Henrietta, give me a break. Alrighty. Now let's go on through here, then. Another... Yep, another Diglett. Let's see here. I kind of want to... What else is here? Not a bad Pokemon, but I don't think I really would honestly use it. You, I'm capturing because you, I think, are more of a low chance encounter. I don't know the exact percentage, but I do know that you are rare. I'm not sure if I would ever use the carping throughout the series. I might. I don't know, it might be kind of fun to try it out. If I can... I don't think Bug Bite... No, it shouldn't. I just don't want to crit it on accident. Bruh. Um... Okay, you're gonna be annoying. Now let me try that. There we go. Um... I'll name you Cole for now. I don't know why... But I'll try to think of a better name in the future. Um, let's go here. Hopefully they're... Maybe some other Pokemon here. Doesn't seem to be anything else. Besides like a, a Kufen and all of that. Oh my god. That's a shuckle. That's also like a really like rare encounter. Oh man, I got like very little pokeballs though. What are the chances of that though? Oh god. Okay. You're gonna be a little bit annoying, but I really would love to have you. No way. I'm gonna kill it. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. Okay. Please work. There we go. Nice. You are noodles. And I'm definitely saving. What a great encounter, honestly. Would not have expected that at all. Um... Okay, we don't have Surf, so we can't do all of that right now. I kind of need to honestly go back. Oh, you can get a Stunfisk here. That's kind of cool. 
I kind of want to go back for a moment. That's pretty crazy. Maybe that's a sign that we'll do pretty well this series. We'll see. Um, no, wait. The Kecleon uh, shop, right? That should still be here. At least I hope so. Well, I'm pretty sure it is, actually. Aquilava. No, I remember. That's right. It, it's just in, like, a new spot. That's what it is. Right, let's go for a uh, flame charge here. And Motham, same thing. Alright, let me... Oh, here we go. Welcome, welcome. Please browse our wares. They change every day. Thank you. Oh, okay. So I can't really... Gotcha. Um... No thanks. Max potion. I mean, it just wouldn't do anything for me on this run. Calcium? No. Don't need that. I don't even know what that is. But none of these are Pokeballs, so... That didn't really help me at all. Okay. Oh yeah, Apom here. Uh, we will come back to get some of those, by the way. Um, for a certain something. Okay. That guy there. I hate to go back to the city, but I think I'm gonna have to to get some more Pokeballs. That's what I'm honestly thinking. What I'll probably do then is uh, pause here. And let me go buy some more so I'm stocked up on them. And then I will uh, meet you guys back here. Alrighty, sorry for the pause there. I got some more Pokeballs here. So I guess we'll go on ahead and get back into here. I also kind of want to look into um, the Shuckle Chance and the... Carby. Oh, well. They might have changed it that it's not like a rare encounter anymore. I'm kind of curious, actually. Or maybe I just got extremely lucky there. That's what it looks like, honestly. Um. You know, hold up. Wrong thing. What if I just do that? Okay. That's new, I think. Because I don't think you were ever really able to get a Dwebble in here. Well, to be fair, this new, like, cave system, that's new. It used to just lead to the cave. Either way, yeah, I'll take a Dwebble. And honestly, um... Hold up. Jimmy Dean. That's what my sister names hers. But, um, yeah, in this cave here, um, I will say for the most part, oh, sorry for hitting the mic there, uh, for the most part, um, like, what I capture is probably, like, a good amount of Pokemon. I feel like I'm wording this weird. Hold up, let me reset my brain. Um, the Pokemon that I capture, if you're playing along, I would advise getting some of those as, as well. Um, you don't have to get everything that I get, but um, if you were to uh, get one thing, I would highly advise uh, that you do get a Dwebble. Dwebble is a fantastic Pokemon, especially with Shell Smash and all of that. Again, I don't think you can really go wrong with that at all, so yeah. 
Also, I think this is the first time we've seen an Onyx, so might as well pick it up. I don't think it's a rare encounter, but I, I honestly don't know. Um, we'll just, whoops, we'll put you in the PC for now. And plus, who knows, we might use a Steelix down the line. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, another Dwebble there. I think we'll get on to the uh, main story stuff now since we uh, wasted some time. Oh wait, I realize what's going on. Whoops. Sorry about that. Okay, so I went down there already to the one uh, shop. We don't have surf, so we can't do uh, that kind of stuff yet. You are a female. I want to capture you. Because I... I don't think I've ever used a Vespa Queen. Or Quinn, however you want to pronounce it. On this series before. But... I don't mind capturing one. Honestly, that kind of like reminded me. Like, back then... Like, my top 10 favorite Pokemon when I was like younger... Was a lot different than what it is like today. And I would say Vespaquin, I think, was most likely in my top 10 way, way back when, when Gen 4 was like a new thing. I don't know, just kind of thought of that. Ren, you said that Malia would go to Sheridan Village to seek safety, right? Which is, which way is Sheridan from here? North, we just have to keep heading in this direction. That wouldn't be wise, your friend hasn't gone to Sheridan. Who is this now? I bet it's some Team Zen goon lurking around. Your friend Malia, was it? She hasn't gone down this path. Why in the world would she go down to the mines below? You've never experienced true fear, have you? If you have, you'd understand just why she took the wrong turn. Fear blinds the mind, cripples your intellect. When you succumb to the grasp of fear, you make choices you wouldn't normally make. She took the wrong turn. No. No. Venom, wait. It doesn't matter anyways. It's all hopeless. It's not hopeless. We can still make a difference. So young. So naive. The truth is the harshest teacher known to man. Scurry along now. A new lesson is about to be prepared. Bro moment. I'll meet up with you later, mister. Anyways, um, a uh, Geodude, I believe, yeah, we already have one. At least I, no, yeah, we definitely do. I'm not sure if there's really much in here that I would recommend to capture. Like, again, like, if you already have, like, a Wubad Geodude, you should be, like, fine. I think there is, like, a Zatu. Not, like, a Zatu, but, um, I think Natu is the other evolution. Well, the, the first one before Zatu. That one isn't, like, a bad Pokemon by any means. I don't know if I've really ever used it, honestly. With intense mode? I might have. I just don't know what exact battle or battles I would have used it, but... I can't 100% say that I have. Besides that, I mean, like, Diglett's not bad at all. Uh, Chingling, I don't think I've honestly ever used this guy, so... Yeah, but again, by the way, even though, like, I may not use them or capture them, but you want to, you're more than, you know, fine to use them. Again, like, I, I don't want, like, some, like, new players or repeat players to be like, I, I have to do everything he does, and I don't think anybody is, like, doing that, but just in case, just to say it, again, experiment, try your own thing, What's beautiful about this game, and I see it all the time with some uh, people like making videos on battles and whatnot, everybody has a unique and different way about going about like the same battle. It's really cool how everybody has a different perspective and a different like thought process going into like certain battles. It's really unique and cool overall. And again, there is not one solution to beating a boss battle or a gym battle. There's multiple ways to go about it. Experiment, have fun, try it out.
But anyways though, um, a lot have you noticed all the Joltik in the area? Is that strange? What about them? I guess you wouldn't know about the Joltik. Um, oh wait, I forgot. Does this have friendship points? Okay, sorry for the random pause there. I feel like I paused too quickly and it cut me off, but uh, just to re-say it better, um, don't do what I did uh, and say, what about them? Is that strange? Is the right one? I, I totally forgot which one gave you the point, so uh, my mistake on that. And that's plus one to Ren. Yeah, it's very strange. Joltik aren't native to the cave. I was just here a couple of days ago and there weren't any Joltik living here. Hmm, let's not worry about this right now. We should continue the chase. I'll go check across the bridge right here. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so there's a Natu there. I guess we'll capture it. I don't think I'll EV train it immediately. We'll see if I ever want to use it in the future. I struck a dead end. I hope we're not too late. Grab a potion here. I won't give up. It's a viper, Venom's kiss. For a moment. Uh, Chingling. Again, I don't think I really ever will use that. Alon, Malia really did come down this way. The grunt I just defeated spilled the details a Team Zen admin is, admin is chasing her down. She's somewhere down there. Have you two found anything? Malia is definitely on the floor beneath us. I got that stupid grunt to tell me the truth. And what's worse, she's being chased by a Team Zen admin. Alright, let's get on down there quickly. Sounds like a plan. Let's head on over here. Grab some of these items that are, are that are on the rock, sorry. And again, something that I cannot stress enough. It's free items. Take it. I think on one of these there's like a revive somewhere. Yeah, there it is right there. Now I know I'm using, um, or well, I have a no items run going on. So again, that's just easy money for me. So, yeah. Uh, there's also a Lunatone down here. I'm not going to worry about this guy right now. But I would advise capturing the Lunatone. And then I believe there is a Soul Rock event at some point as well. But I will um, maybe next episode get the both of them. We'll see what happens. Anyways though. Now let's see what's going on up here. Who are you? Where is Malia? You are a Team Zen admin, aren't you? And just what is this blob of energy? Are you going to talk or just stand there all day? Also just realized. Is it just meant to be quiet? I don't know why there's no audio. Hopefully... Well, let me just keep reading. Are you going to talk or just stand there all day? If only you had to intervene at Goldenwood Forest, all of this could have been avoided. Avoided? What are you talking about? We were all too late. Malia, Malia is dead. Okay, no, it was just meant to be quiet then. What? That's not possible. You're lying. This is just a trick to get us to give up and leave. For a moment. While I was on the way, on my way down here, I heard a massive crash. When I got to the scene, all I saw was a broken bridge and a galvantula gnawing on this. Do you really think we're going to believe this obvious red herring? I'm not going to ask again. Where's our friend? Ren, stop. What? This is Malia's handbag. Professor Jenner got it for Malia for her birthday last year. It was a custom embroidered with happy on the side of it. There's just no mistaking it. And again, I really love the little artwork that like Zumi has like added into the game. Like it adds like 
really cool like scenes and whatnot within the game and i'm really excited to see some of the others that she added to it no it's all of your fault it's team zen's fault that malia is gone it's over she was our main target this is a massive failure on my part when i go back to hq i know well that that this will be the end but i'm not going down alone i'll take you guys with me bring it on show us what you've got i'm not going to be your opponent that would be pointless you asked me before what this blob of energy was alan knows what it is it's another dimensional rift specifically of that galvantula i mentioned earlier if it wants something to gnaw on then let it be you three come to the grave with me what i guess we're trying to run off for a moment. Is this the inside of a dimensional rift? It moved towards us so fast I barely had any time to think. Venom? Venom, what's wrong with you? That guy in the cloak was right. This is all just so hopeless. Malia was already dead before we even stepped foot into the cave. What's the point? What's the point? What about us? Me, Alon. Oh. I did not mean to skip that. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, what about you? I don't care anymore. So what then? You're going to die here? And let Malia's killer get away? W what? While we sit here, Zeta is, or Zeta is walking out of Amethyst Cave with no regrets on his shoulders. I... no, you're right, I was being such an idiot, I can't just give up here. I want my revenge, I want Zeta to pay for what he did to Malia. He may not have been the one to pull the trigger, but he put her in the crossfire. Right, I don't want to die here. Not yet. We have a job to do, right Alon? Alon, that person said that you knew what a dimensional rift was. That's because Alon and Malia encountered Zeta, or Zeta, however you pronounce it before and he pulled this same trick. Alan was able to escape the rift once and with their help we can do that again. What do we have to do then? Destroy the one that's keeping the rift alive. So that would be the Galvantula, right? That's so cruel. That Gal Galvantula sorry, had nothing to do with any of this. It's just as guilty for Malia's death. But it's just a wild Pokemon. It probably thought Malia was trying to harm it. It's a Galvantula or us. Which one do, do you choose? I guess we have no choice then. Let's look for it. Alrighty. Now again, um, before we get into the battle, um, I'll show uh, the... Well, I guess we'll show it right when we get into the battle. To keep it simple. I... Didn't I mean to do that? I wanted to heal, but that's okay. Uh, this road ends with this huge egg. I don't want to know what could be inside it. It probably has the Rift Pokemon inside of it, Galvantula. Galvantula is in this egg. We have to get it out. I wonder if a single knock will do the trick. Whoa, it really did work. It didn't do anything yet. Do Galvantulas grow tails? No, they don't. Alon, you've dealt with this thing before, so you're on the front lines. Pick one of us to be your companion. Uh, since the first one with the Musharna, we chose Ren. To keep it simple, we'll go with Venom. Crap, alright, fine, I'll help you out. The Rift Galvantula attacked. Now, I'm not really sure if like one is better than the other. I'm going to go with Venom since both are poison types, if I'm not mistaken. And since poison resists poison... I'm kind of going off of that uh, mindset, but we'll see if that is uh, the right thing to do or not. Anyways, uh, Poison Electric. I guess we'll go for Confusion here just to do damage. Okay, lower speed. Knock off. Okay, we're out. That's fine. Okay, let's go into me. 
I'm gonna join Venom and go for Acid Spray as well. Now, I believe by that... Okay, it's still Poison Electric then. Now, another play that you can do is Stockpile if you wish to do so. That's more so up to you though. Alright, Venom's Kiss. Let's lower the special defense a little more. That's fine. Now the real tricky thing about the battle is of course it just lowering your speed quite a bit, so do keep that in mind. It can be a little bit troublesome. We'll go for um, Flame Charge here. Now of course with that we'll keep our speed up. Okay, Joltek. I'm still going to go after the Rift. I think that's the best... What? Why did it do that? Okay, that kind of sucks. It went back to double kick when I had it on flame charge. Okay, that's my fault. Um, okay. We should still be fine. That kind of... I don't even know if that even mattered, though. It might not have, honestly. Go for Charm. Charm again. Go after the Galvantula here. Sorry, I just I, I don't want to lose. I don't I don't think we do. It kind of depends on Venom here, and I should have played better. I'm playing a little too close to the sun, in my opinion. too close to my liking. Did we do it? I think so. We did it. We're back. And that also kind of like reminded me as well. I probably should have added um, Graveler to my team. Graveler does an, like a lot uh, to Galvantula. So... Um, some advice for you guys so you guys do better than what I did there. Uh, Graveler does quite a bit to the opponent as well, so do keep that in mind. Uh, Zeta. We're too late. We He escaped. I wouldn't jump to a conclusion so suddenly. Alon, please step aside. Oh, wait, I forgot to show off the team. My bad. I mean, it, it's still like the same team as... Um, whatchamacallit? The Mushar in a battle, so if you want to go back to like that uh, video, I, I didn't really change anything. You three made it out of that rift far faster than I anticipated. Great, who is this now? I hide in the shadows and strike when need be. Those who are unfortunate to make contact with me know me as Crescent. Wait a minute, that voice, that Gothitelle. You're that voice Alan and I heard back in Jenner's lab. That was me, yes, seeing you three here is very disappointing. It's irritating when ignorant people refuse to follow advice, especially when that advice was said to be to protect a certain individual. Uh, today just isn't my day. I have to deal with idiots from all corners. Zeta, you repulsive animal. Don't you ever have something of value to say? 
Good. Stay quiet. Animals that cannot behave cannot be allowed to stay out in public. I'm going to put you in a nice place where you can cause no harm. Gothito, if you would. Wait, stop it. What are you... What did you do to him? That's inconsequential. He'll be dealt with later. That being said, I told you too that this path would lead to nothing but despair. Yet you ignored these claims and continued on this pointless endeavor. We didn't ignore them. We knew very well what you said back then, but we chose to do something about it. And what exactly did that bring? Exactly. I said that weird. Exactly. You've endangered yourself for a girl that was killed far before you even had a chance. You three were way in over your heads. You set yourself up for failure. Alan, no, all three of you go back to East Garen City and stay there. Involving yourselves in the affairs of things that do not pertain you will result in nothing less than a tragedy. These past few events have been proof of that. This is the price of being weak. Remember that. You know, I gotta say, it, it is honestly such an like such a major improvement sorry i worded that wrong a few seconds ago uh major improvement then you know some of like the older versions because like i, I remember like back then and i think i brought it up too i think during like v uh 12 that that um all right sorry about that i had to get some water but anyways um like venom during like the rift thing was like oh hey pretty pink water let me grab some for the gym and like not really caring about the Malia death as much but within this version that they you know updated may changes you know like venom is just heartbroken destroyed she's on the ground just crying and right over here you know he's not really like crying but i know on the inside as well there's got to be all sorts of you know emotions within him that he's like sad angry upset just as much as Venom, you know, all of us in some sort of way are upset by the news. Let's, let's go back home. I don't know. I just really love the improvements that they made and the changes. Alan, Venom, and Ren return to East Garen City as requested by Crescent. Are you kids doing all right? You haven't come down in days. Well, all right then. I'll be downstairs if you guys need anything. I know things are rough right now, but you guys can get through this. I know you guys can. And it seems like um, Chastity's sprite looks slightly different. I honestly like it a lot. Several days later... Uh, finally, I found you, Alon. Venom's finally leaving her house, but I don't think that's a good thing, necessarily. She's sort of acting like this never happened, which isn't healthy, but... I know you haven't known Malia for too long, but she seemed to click with you almost immediately, almost as if you guys had known each other for years. It's okay to be sad, and it's okay not to be. People handle grief differently, that's what my dad told me when I was young. It's been several days now and I'm over crying, but I won't forget her. I want to fight for her. Team Zen did this to Malia. If I stay here in Garen City, I won't get any stronger. And if I can't get stronger, then I can't avenge Malia. So what I'm trying to say is that I'm leaving East Garen City. I'm going to return home and finish something that I started. And once I get strong enough, I'm going to go after Team Zen and destroy them. Despite what Crescent told us, I don't think you should stay here either. Team Zen kidnapped your mother. They attacked you. They killed a friend. You need to get stronger too, and I think the best way to do that is to complete the gym challenge. You think I can do it? Where do I go next? Huh. Eager to get on out there, huh? I'm not surprised. The first option, I think, is neutral, and then the second one is plus two, so... I would advise the second one. The next gym I think you should visit is in Sheridan Village. That's the place you can get to by going through Amethyst Cave again. 
I've passed through there a few times. It's a nice and peaceful place. Honestly, it's probably it'll probably be a great place to clear your head. Not only that, but I bet you can find a new way to purify the shadow Pokemon you caught there. The place is all about purification and tranquility or whatever. Anyway, I guess I'll be heading on out on my own then. Good luck out there, Alon. We're rooting for you, even Malia. Thanks, Ren. And I think with that being said and done, that will be it for today's episode. Uh, just to go over a few things with you guys. Um, I will be getting some of the new Pokemon, uh, EV trained and all of that. Uh, for now, I know for certain, not going to EV train you. Probably not Onyx for the time being. It's not a bad Pokemon, but I don't know if I will ever use it. Same with Noodles. Um, Dwebble I will use. Carpink I don't know. And again, if you are like doing like a challenge run and you're not really sure if you are going to use it, what I would recommend is just put it in like a separate box, you know? And then if there comes a point that you feel that it's probably wise to use it or level it up or try it out, then you already know that you caught it beforehand, level it up, EV train it, and then, you know, kind of like carry on with uh, the battle and all. Anyways, um, bring these guys here. And... Cool, cool. Alrighty, and and then next episode we'll go and probably just start on Route 2 before the cave and then just go on in there and kind of continue the main story. I do apologize for the uh, Rift Galvantula battle. Honestly, I should have uh, gave better um, advice and whatnot for the battle. I kind of realized we're getting kind of like close to possibly like losing and it's kind of my fault. Uh, for not giving better advice and um, using more um, efficient Pokemon overall. Uh, but like I brought up before, uh, Graveler honestly does a lot uh, for you within that battle. And again, like the cave and a lot of like areas that, you know, there are like tricky like battles and whatnot. A lot of the time within like the areas, there are Pokemon that will benefit you for that battle. Not every route will have that, but a lot of them will. Um, but again, like Graveler does great for you. Uh, Diglett, honestly, not bad at all. Even Jimmy Dean, I don't think would be terrible for that battle as well. If you wanted to uh, try out uh, this guy here, the Dwebble. Uh, I don't think this guy would have been bad. Um, I don't know, could have gone into this guy. Maybe if you have like sleep powder or something, but then again, you gotta keep in mind it is an electric type. There are like a few ideas that you can go about it, but the key to a lot of those battles um, is again a healthy team and all of that. And of course, like if you're doing like an items like run like normal with items, then of course, like you can heal along the way to make it uh, better. But of course, since it is like a no items run, I really do need to be uh, better with that kind of stuff. So yeah but anyways though i think that'll be it for today's episode if you have any questions comments concerns i'm more than happy to answer them and especially with like the beginning episode a little rant there let me know what you think and feel about all of that so yeah uh thank you guys so much for watching definitely do appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next episode good morning